All right, boys and girls, look at what I got in the palms of my hands. I've got the JBL Clip 4 right here, and I've got the JBL Clip 5. Man, these are two great speakers from JBL. I always preferred the, uh, the JBL Clip 4 over the JBL Go 3 just because it sounded better and I felt like it was a little bit more versatile, but now JBL has actually outdone themselves. But before we dig into this, we got to do some housekeeping, man. I got to introduce you to myself and the show. Welcome to New Stuff TV, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine. It is time for the showdown between the Clips Richardson because today we are checking out the Clip 5 versus the old school Clip 4. I say old school Clip 4 because this thing is out of here, man. This thing has got to go. And here is why. You see this right here, man? This right here gets on my damn nerves. As much as I like this speaker, this right here, oh my God, the speaker is fantastic, but this is an Achilles heel right here. This, these little silicone strips. I thought they were gonna be fine, but I haven't used this speaker that much. It's probably got about, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 hours of worth of playtime or usage on it. That means handling as well. And something has happened here with these little silicone strips and they annoy the hell out of me. Other than that, the speaker is in really, really good shape. I mean, I got a few scratches right here because this is aluminum or some kind of metal, but that's to be expected with metal. But other than that, man, this is the only thing that takes abuse. The first thing I want to talk about is that because they have rectified it with the JBL Clip 5. You see this right here? This silicone, these, these strips, these strips are actually inlaid into the body and they ain't going nowhere. Not that I can tell anyways. They're thick, they're robust, and they are set in there. They, oh man, JBL, you kind of nailed it right there. Check this out. Look, it ain't going nowhere. I can just slide this and scrape it and scratch it, and it ain't going nowhere, man, because they did a good job. I'm, I'm happy about that. Another improvement that JBL has made over the uh, JBL Clip 4 is the height or the distance that you have to actually get some clippage, man. You got more clippage here. You got more room to clip on things. If you can see right there, I have them side by side, and I have not measured them per se, but you can clearly see with your own two eyeballs that the JBL Clip 5 has more room in there to get something in. Now, I have tried this on my handlebars at home with my mountain bike and my flat bar road bike, and it fits, okay? Now, take that with a grain of salt because once again, this is metal we're talking about. So now that you can actually clip this onto your bicycle, now, if you have it moving on there, because you're going to be, you know, running over humps and stuff like that, it's going to be vibrating. This is going to get scratched up and your handlebar is going to get scratched up. So if I, if you're going to do that, you might want to put maybe some duct tape or electrical tape around there just to preserve that, that metal coating that's on here, because you want to keep your speaker looking as pretty as long as possible. But as far as major improvements, that is one of three major improvements the JBL 5 has, or the JBL Clip 5 has over the JBL Clip 4. But let's go into some other design features that they've changed. So looking on the front, everything is still laid out the same. You still got the JBL logo here, although they give it a more premium treatment here with this two-tone look, which I absolutely love. I hate that it's missing from here because all the other speakers from this generation have the two-tone look except the JBL Go 3 and JBL Clip 4, but now everybody's part of the premium family. Now, if I turn this thing over to the side, you'll see here we have some neoprene, or yeah, it's kind of a neoprene coating versus this metal that we have here. I'm pretty sure it's aluminum, but I'm just gonna call it metal just because I'm just in case I'm wrong. This can get scratched up and it makes your, you know, your clip look kind of ugly. So I'm glad they put some neoprene here, man, just kind of coated it up. But you still have the same buttons with an extra one. You got your power button right there, you got your Bluetooth button, and your AuraCast button. Because now you can actually connect this thing to other like-minded speakers, such as the JBL Go Four. Look at that. You can just connect these two if you want to. And they can play nicely together, but they will not play in stereo. If you want to play in stereo, you have to connect to another identical JBL Clip 5. But the fact that you can actually do that is super clutch. Not a lot of small speakers are actually doing that kind of thing, especially with the ease that JBL has done it with Auracast. Now you flip on the other side of this thing where the clip side is, you just have your clip right there, your clip four and your clip five, and then you got your clippage going, all right? You got your clippage going, and it, it pretty much still works the same. It's, it just feels like this one is a little bit thicker, but I think that's just because of the coating it has on it. But nonetheless, it's the same, you know, little clip right there. But if you go around to the bottom, you'll see your exposed USB-C charging port. 
But just because it's exposed, that does not mean they take anything away because this thing is still IP67 rated. So you can dunk it in the water if you want to, drag it in the sand or dust or whatever you're gonna do and it'll still be fine. I don't know if you noticed this though, but the JBL Clear 5 is just slightly bigger. And I do mean ever so slightly. I don't know if that has any bearing on anything. I just wanted to you know, put that out there for you guys who are detail oriented. But now let's get into something brand new for the JBL Go and Clip series, which is the app. Boom, right there. Look at this, man. We've got a full fledged app, man. We only got one page and that's really all you need for a speaker like this. Uh, they're actually giving you some EQ options. Now look, take this with a grain of salt. They got the JBL signature, uh, the chill, energetic, vocal, and a five band customizable EQ. That is awesome. I'm glad it's there, but let's just keep in mind this speaker is only so big and you're only gonna get so much sound of it, or sound out of it. But on the flip side of that, when you put it on JBL signature, this thing pumps. I mean, it actually pumps. And as a matter of fact, speaking of pumping, the JBL, look at this, the JBL Go 4, this thing actually pumps now, but this video ain't about that. I've already done one for that. But this thing pumps as well. It actually trashes its older brother, which is the JBL Go 3. But now we have the JBL Go 4, which absolutely trashes, I'm sorry, the JBL Clip 5, which actually trashes the JBL Clip 4 in the sound department. I mean, this thing really freaking thumps. It's loud and it's bassy. It just, it's, it's full body sound. I'm actually very impressed, okay? I'm gonna do a video of uh, both speakers, the, the Go 4 and the Clip 5 headed up against the, uh, the Sony XB100, which actually destroyed the JBL Clip 3, Clip 4 and Go 3 in my last video comparison. But I think it's gonna be a much tighter competition now. I'm, I'm actually, man, I'm, I'm excited for that one. That one's gonna be close. But anyways, I've digressed. Let's get back to this app. It sounds freaking fantastic. I'll let you hear it in a minute. But now we got this playtime boost, right? So the old um, JBL Clip 4, it actually had 10 hours worth of playtime or up to 10 hours of playtime. Now they've actually given you an additional two hours for a total of 12 hours of playtime up to 12 hours of playtime. And this right here, this playtime boost is gonna help to guarantee that you actually get up to 12 hours of playtime because what it does is once you toggle it on, you see how it disabled the, the EQ right there? It's, it's all grayed out. You can't do anything with the EQ. It says it right there, you just don't touch this no more. Once you actually toggle this on, it actually strips some of the bass and, and fullness out of the music, but it, sounds, it still sounds good. It just gets louder, you get a sound boost, but it strips away the body, like the bass, right? But it also extends your battery time, your play time. So if, you, if you're looking at getting more play time and you're willing to sacrifice a little bit of, you know, fullness in your music, go ahead and toggle that on, man, and you can try to get up to that 12 hours. And then I've already talked about stereo group and stereo pair, and that's all it is right there. You can do it within the app, or you can just press that button on the, on the speaker itself. And that's all there is for the app. Now it's time to get to the nitty gritty so you can hear how both of these things sound going up against each other. I gotta warn you, man, it's pretty embarrassing for the JBL Clip 4, but you can be the judge for yourself. I told you, man, this JBL Clip 5 thumps. I am impressed and I'm proud of it. JBL, you should be proud of your two new speakers, man. You, you actually put two new thumpers out on the market. I'm impressed, man. You managed to make two 
much better speakers than their predecessors. Check this out, guys. Look, we got the JBL Clip 4 and then Clip 5. And then we got the JBL Go 3 and then Go 4. And JBL managed to improve. Typically, when a company comes out with a, another product of the same lineage, the next iteration, it is a very iterative update or upgrade. You might get a little bit of something, right? But no, man, JBL went hard in the paint. They kind of went back to the lab. They didn't fix nothing that wasn't broken, but they definitely addressed the things that were needing to be addressed, such as the backs of these things, right? And then if you look on the JBL Go series, now the back of it, you can actually play it as an up firing speaker because it doesn't have this little slick back no more. You got a grippy back, right? Then you don't have the little raggedy silicone strips that are gonna die out on you and peel off, right? And then you have a robust, a more robust build on both of these speakers, all right? And then you got more clippage room. You got more headroom so you can clip it on more things. It becomes more versatile. And then you have app connectivity, and you have pairing connectivity via Auracast. And, oh, I forgot about the sound just that fast. And they both sound so much better than their predecessors. It makes you not even want to talk about them no more. So we're done. We're, you see this? You see this clip four right here? We're done. You see this? You see this right here? This uh, Go 3? We're done. And now it is all about these two. The JBL clip five and the Go 4 is where it's at. This is the new stuff, man. Like, Dude, I'm, I'm excited. I, I love it when a company really does a great job at giving us a much better product instead of a little bit more of what we already had. I've harped on that enough. JBL, good job, bro. Good job. Y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you.